Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 5th of August, 2012. Rob here with your Haiku update. We're also going to look across the rest of the Western Pacific at another very weak tropical depression. But first, on this one, you can see it here approaching the Okinawa Islands on this microwave imagery. And with that said, you see that clear center of circulation just towards the east of Okinawa within the last several frames. I know it is a summer weekend down here. Uh, many of the hotels across the island here have actually been booked up already due to summer travel. It's one of the more busier weekends here in Japan. Uh, with that said, unfortunately, the weather is not cooperating, and it does look like, especially along the entire Okinawa chains here, and even across the Yamani Islands, eh, not a very great weather at all. Let's pull back and look at the uh, infrared satellite imagery, and you can see this clear definition of this storm. Now, winds out of it have not actually been that strong. Actually, the highest winds recorded thus far are not in Okinawa. They're in Kagoshima off here towards the north. I actually saw a wind gust upwards of about... Uh, 44 knots earlier on today. Uh, meanwhile, some of the heaviest rains recorded today have been in Miyazaki Prefecture over here just along the east-northeastern portions of Kyushu due to some thunderstorms that blew through yesterday. And that was up to about 175 millimeters in the past 24 hours. If you're unsure where to find these, uh, just go to the uh, Western Pacific Tropical links on our website and you can pull up the past 24-hour rain total or just past 24-hour records actually. And it will look like this, a little bit of simple translation will get you the prefecture. Here you have Kagoshima prefecture, 23 meters per second or about 44 knots. Uh, in Okinawa, actually been quite a little bit less. Wind sustained rate about about 15 to 20 knots with some gust upwards of about 30 knots. Uh, it, it's still though with some of these outer rain bands pushing through, you see that clear center of circulation just north of the main island of Okinawa here. Uh, you, you still be seeing some very intense winds along the northern periphery and also down here towards the south, some very also in, strong and intense winds gusting about 50 knots, even gusting your severe tropical storm strength. With that said, those winds could be damaging. Uh, definitely could throw around loose debris. You do want to be staying inside dirt throughout the duration of your Sunday. I'm very, very sorry, and I do feel for you if you have any barbecues planned that you plan on going out here. Uh, unfortunately, it does look like these conditions are going to continue to pick up. And uh, I know for all the military people, I know I have a lot of viewers from the military, uh, you are in T Core 1, and I did see that uh, it does expect it to remain throughout your Sunday. And what that means basically is that a lot of the governmental facilities there have been closed, and you are suggested just to stay inside throughout the duration of your day. Better safe than sorry, even though the winds aren't quite strong just yet. Some isolated cells uh, could be rolling through on those feeder bands and definitely could cause some damage if anybody plans on going outside and just trying to fare the weather. Uh, it's a very dangerous situation. So, with that said, where is this storm going next? Well, it has slowed down considerably. Yesterday at this time, we were seeing about a 35 knot forward momentum storm. Now it's about, or excuse me, 35 kilometers an hour. Now it's down to about 15 kilometers per hour. It's running into this high pressure off there towards the north, really significantly slowing it down. And now it's going to slowly track throughout the remainder of this coming week, basically off there towards China very slowly, possibly making landfall along the later portion of the week. But uh, as we've seen in the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's um, extended outlook prognostic reasoning, they say that beyond 72 hours, they're quite uncertain. They actually stated that, stating that the uncertainty is very high here. So with that said, uh, it, it definitely anybody across the southern portions of Chan, South Korea, and then of course uh, the eastern portions of China need to be very watching this very closely. JMA and JTWC do expect a landfall uh, just here along the eastern portions of China into about the mid to later part of this week, but a lot of factors are still coming in place here. Let's take a look at uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's extended outlook at you see that the storm continues to track off there towards the west, going on to the 8th into the 9th, so basically Wednesday and Thursday, making landfall south of Shanghai in the Zhejiang province. Uh, as it continues to do so, it will be expected to be a significant typhoon before gradually weakening over land. Now, uh, JMA, on the other hand, also expecting the storm to make a similar track with a landfall in a very similar area before slowing down just prior to landfall on the 7th into the 8th. So with that said, I do think that Zhejiang province, that's where you're going to be seeing the most likely chance of a landfall with this storm uh, through the coming days. But now let's get on to my personal opinions. I do think it's going to slow down just prior to shore and then basically kind of linger here, possibly even jumping back off there towards the east 
in through the extended, very extended long range. Let's look at this streamline analysis and I'll show you why I'm thinking. Now you have the flow rain in here, that's continuing to keep the storm running there towards the west, but you have a little bit of a trough digging in from the north. If that trough digs in enough and this high pressure sets in enough, that could actually uh, make the storm kind of stall and then pull off there back towards the east following that trough. Uh, still very long range though, once again at this time though, fairly high confidence. Uh, just south of Shanghai, you're definitely going to be feeling some heavy precipitation. And even around Okinawa through the coming days, you're still going to be getting rather wet here. Uh, if we take a look at the model out, you can see that through that initialization of this storm, it continues to track off there in this westerly direction. And then it kind of stalls right there just towards the east of uh, southeast of Shanghai and then uh, just towards the west of Okinawa so with that said moisture is going to be continuing to flow into this storm from the south as the storm continues to ever so slowly track door there towards the west so uh, throughout the remainder of the week unfortunately if you are looking for a decent beach day uh, across all the Okinawa Islands and basically all the southern Japanese islands unfortunately it, it is going to be wet for you and I don't typically show this but this is just one of those times where you have to show it this is the uh, JMA's five-day extended outlook or actually seven-day extended outlook here and you can see rain 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 Rain. I know I had somebody post on the website earlier on today. Is it going to be a uh, beach day? Can you go outside and enjoy your barbecue? Well, there might be some breaks and suns here. Actually, the uh, grading gets a little bit lower through the extended. That's one thing I love about JMA is that they basically be B's and C's. And once you get into the C's and D's, that's them saying, uh, we're not quite sure. Um, I do think, though, rain is very well still likely. So even in this week and into next weekend, you might still see some rainfall across much of this region. So please continue to stay safe out here. Stay indoors if you are in some of these storms. Remember, always, if you hear lightning outside or you hear thunder outside, there is a chance lightning is within the area and you very well could get struck by lightning, even if the storm or if it's not raining and even if you look sunny out. Very well, storm could be nearby, so always got to stay inside, avoid that. And also with these weak storms still, the turbulence is very high and it. Wind shear is rather decent, and that could cause some small tornadic activity across this region, even extending in some of these outer feeder bands uh, going through the coming days. So you definitely have to watch out for that as well. But uh, let's look all the way towards the east here really quick, well east of the Marianas. Just on the side of your screen, yeah, way out there. That is Tropical Depression 13, rated by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. That's quickly running off there towards the north. It's going to actually get picked up by this uh, trough that's kind of pushing off there towards the northeast as well. And that is just going to become a fish storm. No worries there. Just wanted to quickly mention that. Uh, but that is all for right now, though, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any suggestions on making these video updates that much better, please do share them with us. I always appreciate the feedback. Also, if you have any storm footage out of the uh, southern Japanese islands here on this storm, I will be doing another update later on this evening on the 5th. Uh, I do appreciate that, and I will try to get your video into the update if you could share it here. And uh, one more thing, though, I do want to always mention... Uh, we are not a WMO approved official agency at the very least. Always uh, go to your local agency, the Japan Meteorological Agency, or if you're locally one of the military members here, you always want to check in with your local installation. Uh, and on one more note, uh, you can always follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow me uh, there at Robert Spetter or at the website, westernpacificweather.com, for your latest updates. We'll also, have some new features continuing to be posted there. So uh, that is all. I promise, stay safe out there. Try to stay dry here on your wet weekend. All right, have a good day.